Hey everybody, this is Tony, the gun guy with Concealed Arms and HomeDefense.com. Welcome back to my channel. I do have another tabletop review here of a non-NFA firearm from Emperor Arms. It's a Duke Ultra 3, and this is the second generation of this gun. They've added a few things to it and made a few enhancements to the gun. So what you get here with this gun it comes in in a case just just a uh, cheap old plastic case there's nothing fancy it's not a uh, pelican or uh, pelican case or anything really nice like that but uh, it is good enough to keep the gun in store it and keep it safe and keep it from getting damaged and whatnot so you do get the case and everything you see here and uh, we'll just start here at the back and just talk a little bit about what what, what is what comes with this gun and the enhancement that they made as we actually move down the gun. But as you can see here, you do get a tactical stock. It does come with a cheek riser. You can adjust this here up or down. Yep, yep there you go. To, to whatever height you want. That way, if you are adding something on sights onto your gun, you have real high sights, you would wanna raise your cheek pad up higher so that you have a good sight line. Now on this stock here, it is just a uh, regular hard polymer pistol grip stock with a cheek riser. Also it has shell holders there. Also it has a slot for a sling and uh, it does come with a rubber recoil pad. And I noticed that they did change something on this. They've added uh, some more plastic here for your screw. When you screw this, when you take your recoil pad and you actually put it on here, it actually would go this way. And you put your screw in here uh, to hold the recoil pad on there. Now you have some extension here to actually screw into, which holds this on a lot more. Used to, the, you would just screw into the very base of the recoil pad. It wasn't much for the threads to hold. And now with that, that will hold a lot better. Uh, you do get a shell holder. Now, it didn't come with any instructions on where to put this shell holder, but I'm assuming that you would want to get some um, tape of some sort, some uh, Velcro tape or whatever, and put on here and put this on your receiver as well and put it right there. But... It's, it comes with a gun, but like I say, it didn't have any information or any other attachments or screws or whatever to put it on the gun, but that's one place where you could put it. And uh, put that to the side. Now, uh, the gun itself, it is, like I say, a non-NFA firearm. It is does shoot 12 gauge uh, shotgun shells. It will shoot either three inch or two and three quarter inch shells. It doesn't matter about the velocity. Whenever you're shooting a pump, anything you want to throw in there, you can shoot. If you're getting automatics, a lot of times semi-automatics are kind of finicky whenever you start off breaking them in and you have to kind of use certain velocity shells, but with a pump, you don't worry about that. So starting from the rear here, and let me go ahead and put this, take this case now the, and the manual out of the way. The manual is not all that great. It's just a sheet of computer paper. You do have a two year warranty, but one thing I can speak to, I've been dealing with Emperor Arms now for five years. If you do have any issues, they're great to work with. These are good quality guns. The build is good. The fit is good. The only thing that I ever really notice about these that I wish they could do better, and that is the stenciling. Like if you'll notice right here, you might have to zoom in. The uh, stenciling here is not all that great on the name. You can, I don't know if it shows up on the camera there, but it's a little light whenever you look at it at a certain angle. But you know, that's minor stuff to me. I mean, a shotgun, uh, I'm not real worried about if it gets a little bit dinged up, scratched or what have you, but you know, maybe you are, but that's the only thing. Uh, fit, and, fit and build and quality is always great in the warranty. If you have to deal with the Emperor Arms, uh, they're great. They are 
uh, real easy to work with. So we'll go ahead before we talk about the features and whatnot. We will weigh this gun empty. You're looking at 6.7, 6 pounds, 7 ounces with the bird's head or the raptor style grip on there. And as far as length, it is 32 inches long. These guns have to remain over 26 and a half inches long from end to end to be a legal gun. If uh, you change the configurations of these guns and make them shorter or what have you, uh, just be aware you have local laws and federal laws that uh, if you do a lot to this and you change the configuration, you might make this an illegal gun. But in this configuration right now, this is legal. And in most states, you can get this. Of course, you can't get it in California. Uh, and uh, maybe some other states. So always check your local state laws just to make sure. Uh, okay, starting at the back, bird's head or a raptor style grip. It is rubberized. You do have your regular crossbow safety here. And um, uh, here on your loading gate, this is where you will load your shells in. And again, you can use two and three quarter or three inch shells, buckshot, slugs, whatever you want to put in there. Uh, and moving up to the top of the gun, Picatinny rail, the whole length of the gun. This is an aluminum Picatinny rail. And you do have Picatinny's rails here. 360 degrees, so if you want to put lights, lasers, red dots uh, up here on the top, anything else down here, you can do that as well. Moving down the gun, you do have a, um, it looks like it's a uh, muzzle brake, but it's not. This is just some cosmetic, really it's just like a barrel shroud to keep you from touching a hot barrel. And the barrel is 18 and a half inches long, I believe it's chrome blind. And the gun is not threaded for chokes. So this is just a regular cylinder bore um, non-NFA firearm. Now this is a pump. So here your forearm, this is where you pump this gun. The gun is unloaded. I've already checked that earlier. Doesn't have anything in the chamber. So it is unloaded. Now one thing they did on this gun that is an enhancement is uh, the the action is spring loaded so now if you pump it you let go it is spring assisted so you don't have to worry about making sure that you're uh, operating this fully to get another shell up into the chamber as long as you pull it back it's going to do the rest of the work for you. You're going to get a shell, a fresh shell up in here in the chamber. You're going to be ready to go. So uh, that is pretty much the Ultra Duke 3 Generation 2 pump action non-NFA firearm from Emperor Arms. So guys, uh, I'll have a link down below. You can click on it, go right to my website. Just got a few of these. They're not going to last too terribly long before they're gone. I might be able to get more, but right now, you know, it's hard to get guns. So if you want it here today, gone tomorrow. Uh, please like and subscribe. And as always, guys, be safe and God bless.